Well, welcome everybody. Here's a shocker. I'm actually starting a couple of seconds early. Let's see. It looks like we are good for both YouTube and Rumble. I'm really impressed on Rumble because I didn't actually get the uh, streaming configuration set up in StreamYard for Rumble uh, when I set up the rest of the stuff and only did it a minute or two ago. Um, I was um, uh, kind of running short on time at work today, so when I got the stream set up, I didn't have all that much time ahead of time to do it, and so I figured I could do the stream key later. Um, for those that don't know, when you uh, set up a stream on Rumble, you get a uh, stream key and uh, uh, forget the exact name of it, like a confirmation key um, uh, that you have to set up in StreamYard each time because each stream is a new one. So, um, hey, Gwendolyn, or I hate Summer Butterfly. Nice to see you. Uh, welcome, welcome, Gwendolyn. Um, good to see you, Philip Martin and Roberta Kay and Aaron Cooper. Uh, I think think I've seen Aaron on before. If not, if this is your first time catching a live stream, welcome, welcome. Okay, so uh, I'm running a bit later than normal because I left work uh, to go to um, my the retirement party for the judge I've been working for for the past eight years. Um, I didn't wasn't able to stay all that long, but I was expecting to stay later, so I set up the stream later. Uh, but um, there were the party was nice. Unfortunately, I don't know much of anybody other than the judge and the office staff there, so I didn't really know just about anybody there. And it was kind of set up in a semi-outdoor area with a bunch of propane heaters, like about um, roughly the equivalent of about five propane pe propane heaters in a, like a normal living room sized area times three. Um, and between the propane smell and the really loud noise there, I was not feeling great. I was getting a headache and feeling nauseous. So I came home, took a nap. So I'm actually doing pretty good today. Uh, thank you for your patience for that. And uh, nice to see you on, Don. Um, Jenna Edwards and Leonidas the kitty. Welcome, welcome. All right. So we are starting on move 25. We're going to exchange 9, 11, 13, and 15, and shed 6 is reversed. And on the left, we're going to exchange 11, 15, and 23, and no shed reversals. There we go. Oops, let me go ahead and get this out of the way for right now. And I hope I didn't just kill everything. There we go. Oh, no. Okay, I just had uh, the mouse over the... Uh, just show you the desktop. So when you look over at the screen and there's like nothing but the background, you kind of start worrying. Um, and before I get started, I'd like to uh, give a compliment to my wife. I realize this may not be all that uh, attractive, but this is um, uh, cinnamon and sugar encrusted pecans that my wife made tonight. Uh, they are rather tasty, so I'm going to snack on them a little bit. So I will set them out of the way. I apologize for the uh, munchy noises. Not sure how long I'll be able to stream tonight. Um, I am a bit tired, and again, I didn't have all that great of an afternoon uh, feeling good-wise. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... And nine, ten, and eleven, twelve. Put over a pin 13, 14, and 15. That leaves only one left uh, on the top here for the uh, wheel on this side, and just shed six is reversed. So one, two, three, four, 
five on the bottom, six on the top, and seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven on the bottom. But I did want to stream tonight because I did tell Jeff that I was going to have his grade done by this Sunday. And I really should have it done if I commit to that. So that's been my uh, that's my goal for this weekend. In addition to trying to get some other stuff done as well. But I think uh, I don't have to spend a ridiculous amount of time streaming to make sure it's done by the end of this weekend. And that way I can get it sent off. I don't know if it'll get to Jeff before Christmas, but it'll at least be on its way. Speaking of which, I need to make sure and look up what his uh, post office box address is for the U.S. All right, so 11 and 15 and 20 on the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And of 11, 12, 13, 14. 15. That's easy to tell that 23 is that last green one up at the front. So I'm going to cheat and not count because I know that's what it is. And I can tell looking at the color chart. Go. And I didn't stream Wednesday because I did have a migraine. Uh, woke up with it. And I did get a chance to uh, catch a little bit of Law and Lumber's member stream and uh, uh, saw the, or heard the announcement that he is engaged again. So, uh, or he's engaged. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. I did say he was married before, so I guess technically again is an accurate statement. All right. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Check some is good. I have this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off, so I'll have plenty of time to be able to stream. Uh, next two Fridays, I will be working my overtime shifts. All right, let me. We are ready for move 26. On the right, we're going to exchange one and no shed reversals. And on the left, we're going to exchange 13 and 15, and sheds one and seven are reversed. Go. Let me catch up on chat real quick here. Um, yep, they are indeed yummy. Hey, Cookie Mon Steve. Welcome, welcome. Uh, doing reasonably well. I feel pretty decent at this point. A little tired, but not too bad. I feel alert enough to actually braid, so that's what I'm going to be doing. All right, I'm going to exchange one. Oop, before I do that, it is time for a coma slide. The other thing I need to do this weekend is get ready for this braid design, because as soon as this one's done, i got to get started on the next one, and if I don't have a confirmation on the colors and stuff, uh, it would be kind of pointless to get it set up that far. All right. There we go. All right, so we're going to exchange one on the right and no shed reversals. Yep, we're starting at the top of the brandy snifter. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, and 11. It also means I need to finish tweaking the maker's mark. I kind of shifted it down a little bit, or shifted the top of it a little bit, so that uh, I wouldn't have overlapping um, uh, patterns when I got to the end for the reset. But I don't need to have it that far down um, visually uh, when I do the last iteration of the pattern. So I'll probably move that back so it's not a large gap. I also don't want to run out of uh, thread, so I think I'm going to actually have some uh, extra length on here. I wasn't necessarily thinking I would have, because I haven't hit the leaders yet. So, um, I don't know. Maybe I might do two maker's marks. It depends on what I've got and what Jeff would like. Um, all right, so 13 and 15 on the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 and 15. There we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
go. And I have been getting better at uh, using moisturizer on my hands, so hopefully my uh, calluses won't snag the threads as much as they have been. All right, sheds one and seven are reversed. So one on the top and two, three, four, five, six on the bottom, seven on the top, and eight, nine, ten, and eleven on the bottom. Check some is good. There we go. And one on the bottom, and two, three, four, five, six on the top, seven on the bottom, and eight, nine, ten, and eleven on the top. Check some is good. There we go. And let's get the cap on. I don't want that to accidentally fall over. All righty. And we are ready for the next move. On to 27. On the right, we're going to exchange one and, or no, we're going to exchange three. And shed seven is reversed. And the difference between the dark line that's active and the rest of them isn't all that distinct at times. The left, we're going to do no exchanges, and shed two is reversed. Catch up on chat real quick. Uh, yeah, I think I saw that about the uh, thirst uh, being quenched or whatever, or ending or whatever. I, I think I saw it on Twitter, but I could be wrong on that. Um, let's see. Hey, Marmar, no worries about that. Um, not too late. It's only been about, like, 12 minutes in the stream or so at this point. Hey, Kathleen, nice to see you on. Welcome, welcome. All righty. And three is uh, reverse. So, very exchange one, two, and three. One of the other things I want to do this weekend is come up with a design uh, for the uh, some of the PVC discs that I uh, um, have been salvaging from the garbage at work. Uh, garbage being a dumpster full of plastic and no biologicals at all, so they're perfectly clean. And actually salvaged as in I didn't toss them in. So, all right, so seven is reversed. So one, two, three, four, five, six on the bottom, seven on the top, and... 8, 9, 10, and 11. Check some is good. Thinking maybe if I can come up with a design for like a Tama and maybe a Coma together on it and do 3D engraving, I could uh, at least get those as the first item available in my web store. All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on top, 7 on the bottom, and 8, 9, 10 and 11. Check sum is good. Nope. And left side, we're just uh, reversing shed two and no exchanges. So one on the bottom, two on the top, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Checksum is good. Just gotta let it untwist here. Go. And one on top, two on the bottom, and three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Yep, that's correct. All right. Check some is good. Yeah, thinking about all the stuff I see on other people, well, not other, other other people's, but on some of the interactions between some of the channels on YouTube and drama and whatnot. I realize I should probably appreciate the fact that I have yet to have any drama and realize that probably it's going to happen somewhere down the line, so I should enjoy it while I can. 
And I just got to say, you guys are some of the greatest chat uh, I've seen on YouTube. I haven't had to moderate or mute anybody yet. I'm hoping that lasts for as long as possible. All right, we are ready for the next move. Uh, remember where the right spot to click is. All right, and we are on to 28. On the right, we're going to exchange 1, 3, and 5, and 15. And no shed reversals. And on the left, we're going to exchange 1, and sheds 1 and 3 are reversed. There we go. And... One, three, and five. All right. And one, two. Three, four, and five. And fifteen. which I know is this one because that's the end of the wheel on this side. I know I said that earlier, but I wasn't looking ahead to realize I had a little bit more to do on those uh, hand spokes. There we go. And no shed reversals. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. Check sum is good. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Check something is good. Oh, and the other recent curveball that uh, life has thrown me. I got a call yesterday from uh, one of the two places I've scheduled an appointment for attention deficit testing, and. They're having to push me back from mid mid March to the end of April, so about six weeks or so, which is annoying. But uh, considering I scheduled it like six months out, it's not too horrible. And the other place I've got scheduled has me September of next year, <coughs> so it was literally a year out when I uh, from when I scheduled it. All right, so one and three sheds are reversed. So one on the top, two on the bottom, three on the top. And four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Check sum is good. There we go. And did I miss one? No. Okay, that's coming up next one. Okay, I was just noticing that the uh, the hand wheel spoke thing. Um, or ha handle on the spoke on the left side it was not done yet, and I didn't see it. Uh, shifting down until I took a closer look. And one on the bottom, two on the top, three on the bottom, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Check something is good. There we go. And. We are ready for the next move. On to 28. On the right, we're going to exchange 1, 3, 5, and 7, and shed 1 is reversed. And on the left, we're going to exchange 3, excuse me, and 17, which is the one I didn't see, but I wasn't looking here. I was looking over here wondering why I wasn't seeing it. So and we're going to exchange shed, or we're going to reverse sheds 1, 2, and 4. All right, let me catch up on chat real quick here. Um, yep, uh, cats tend to be like that. Um, yeah, I kind of popped in like about a, almost half an hour in. He was just about done reviewing the wood blanks. I asked a question and he uh, uh, didn't respond to it until after he'd done the announcement. Um, so I was really happy for him, but I would have preferred to been able to mention it. But hey, that's what I get for chatting early. Uh, I wasn't expecting to be on more than about maybe five, ten minutes. But um, so let's see. Uh, yep, kitty cat's doing kitty cat things. Uh, yep, 
he you could definitely tell that he was very very happy and yes it was plenty of ah it's weird okay used to be that uh when i would mouse over the uh the chats to click on them and then i'd click off they would come back up unless i had the mouse stuck over them but apparently now they stay kind of grayed out until i like uh click somewhere else on the screen i don't know if that's a new change in Streamyard or whatever been hearing some people have been having problems with it lately. One, three, five, and seven on the right. And one, two. And, oops. Okay. There's three. That looks like that matches the color chart. Those are going to need some unrolling. Three, four. And. Five, six, and seven. As you can see, let me move this back a little bit so you can see it a bit better. Yeah, I need a wider green screen or move it closer. But, you know, some of these need a bit of an unroll. But as you can see on some of these, there's not much color left on them. There's only like one or two times around, and then they'll be done there. I have to measure it. I might be able to get another iteration, but I would probably have to do a marathon stream to do that. I don't know if it's got the time or energy for that, but we'll have to think about that. All right, so shed one is reversed, so one on the top. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Yeah, headache's coming back a little bit. I'd be surprised if it's still part of yesterday's migraine because mine tend to run that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. I think I've got my count off, but uh, it does look like I've got every other one. Yep, that looks right. So even if I did miss my counting numbers, I do have the right move that I can tell visually. So I'll go with that. There we go. Um, left side is exchanging 3 and 17. So 1, 2, and... One, two, uh, just now it's this one here because I can tell by the color chart and understanding that uh, that ends in the pattern, so that has to be reset back to the base. All right, and sheds one, two, and four are reversed, so one and two on the top, three on the bottom, four on the top, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Check some of these good. And one and two on the bottom, and three on the top, four on the bottom, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Check some of these good. Apparently one of my nails is a bit long. It's been kind of snagging, but it's not like snagging, snagging. It's just hitting the thread before I'm ready for it. So I'll need to trim that when I'm done today or before the next stream. I'm going to plan on doing a stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday this weekend. And hopefully, unless there's something like a migraine or whatever that kicks my butt, uh, I should be able to get those in. All right. And we are on to 30. On the right, we're going to exchange five, seven, and nine. Shed two is reversed. On the left, we're going to exchange three, five, and nine. And sheds two and three are reversed. There we go. Um, yep, that's that's very good to hear. I've uh, and see, I've seen a couple of videos where people, you know, adopt a elderly, you know, 
six months or less uh, expected lifespan so that they can uh, finish off their lives in a loving family. That just kind of melts your heart for that. Good. Welcome back, Gwen. I hope your uh, errand was okay, and welcome back to the stream. Uh, adopted a senior cat, Maine Coon. She was so pretty and chatty. Sadly, she passed, but I learned a lot about cats. Uh, yep, uh, I'm also kind of more of a dog person, but we have like seven cats now. So, uh, yeah, I've got a uh, glass file here. I just don't want to spend the time to do it because it's not it's not rough. It's just a little longer than I want, so I just need to be careful. I should be able to adapt for it. But as you can see, I've been breaking all my glass files and I gotta come up with a case that doesn't flex or anything like that to where it breaks it. All right. And okay. I'm wearing a hoodie that's a little undersized for me, so I'm kind of feeling like I'm being choked. I have a freakishly large neck for my body size. Not sure exactly why, but I got like an 18 and a half inch neck. Oops, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to leave that uh, still up there. Yep, they are very nice. I just need them to not break on me. All right, so five, seven, and nine on the right. So one, two, three, four. And. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And I also need to uh, make the uh, membership icons. Uh, I figured for the uh, uh, Maradai level, I'd do a Tama icon. And the Takadai level, I do a coma icon. All right, shed two is reverse, so one on the bottom and two on the top. And three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Shed sum is good. And one on the top, two on the bottom. And three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Checksum is good. And left side is three, five, and nine. So one, two. Three, four, there we go, five, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I also still need to move the drill press over to the base so I can roll that out of the way. I'll probably be able to do that tomorrow evening with my wife's help. And sheds two and three are reversed. And one on the bottom. And two and three on the top. And four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Check some is good. My uh, wife and my roommate tend to watch TV together a lot, but on Mondays and Fridays, my wife goes bowling. Uh, one on the top, and two and three on the bottom. Okay. Two on the bottom, two, three on the top. Yeah, I, yeah, I got that. Okay. All right, so one on the top, and two, and three on the bottom. And four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven on top. Um, 
So they tend to watch shows that I don't always, I'm not always that interested in. So I tend to do stuff on the computer and whatnot in order to come up and stream. But uh, I was uh, catching um, in shorts on YouTube a bunch of uh, Rick and Morty clips from the latest season. And some of it looks interesting. I kind of like the uh, first season. It wasn't really too hot for the couple episodes I saw from the second season back when it first came out. So, um, but I think I might like to watch the rest of it. And my roommate likes The Simpsons, but can't stand, um, i trying to remember the, uh, uh, or doesn't like South Park. Um, but I think that uh, the Rick and Morty, the way they handle stuff is potentially in the range of what my roommate would like. So we've been watching most of the second season the last day or two. And uh, so I'll probably be doing that this Friday night. Uh, we'll catch the second half of season two and then work our way forward because I think it's going to be interesting. Um, I do have a rough idea of some of the stuff that's been going on in the series, but yeah, we'll see if I like it or not. We'll see if my roommate likes it or not. All right. So on to 31. On the right, we're going to exchange three, seven, and nine. And sheds three and five are reversed. On the left, we're going to exchange 5, 7, and 9, and sheds 3, 4, and 5 are reversed. There we go. Let me catch up with chat real quick here. Hey, Jail Reese. Uh, nice to see you on. Welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, uh, it's definitely a different feel. Um, it's kind of nice because they tend not to load up as much as uh, the Emory ones, and they don't tend to wear off as the uh, grit gets knocked off. But uh, yeah, they tend to be a little bit softer and that definitely has a different feel. And as somebody who doesn't like, you know, uh, certain sensations like, um, well, it's not so much my hand, but like um, popsicle sticks in my mouth that are, have no ice cream on them type thing. Um, or popsicle, I can understand some sensations like that feeling weird. And I need to stop thinking about it because my back is giving me uh, uh, shivers and whatnot. So anyway, um, I got to stop thinking about that. I am so sorry. Uh, but yeah, um, though you could probably make them up to where they're uh, more aggressive in their grit, and that would be less of an issue. Um, yep, I was... Uh, I was thinking of something like that. Uh, I'm just trying to figure a good one that I can get. Uh, but yeah, something that opens on the side rather than like in the middle from top to bottom. Okay, alpaca yarn. Got to twist a few spots. Okay, uh, put it under tension. Yep, okay. I'm glad that it's working now, but yeah, I can understand how it would be frustrating. Yeah, I need to stop thinking about that. I'm sorry. Um, yep. Oh, yep, definitely. Um, all righty. Let me take a swig here. Part of the reason I'm um, running a little later than normal tonight is in addition to having been uh, expecting to run late today, I don't have to get up early tomorrow. So, uh, going to exchange three, seven, and nine on the right. So one, two, and three, four, five, six, and seven. Eight and nine. And sheds three and five are reversed on this side. And one and two on the bottom. Three on the top. And four on the bottom. And five on the top. And six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. There we go. Check some is good for that. And one and two on the top, and three on the bottom, four on the top, five on the bottom, and six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, and 11 on the top. Check some is good. Here we go. Left side is 5, 7, and 9, our exchange. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And... Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There we go. Oh, and my rant for the day. Um, when I was catching uh, Rob's member stream, I was looking at places I could buy Ipe from because I was thinking it might be fun to uh, make some uh, Takadai parts uh, or Maradai parts out of Ipe. Ipe is sometimes called Brazilian Walnut. It's a nice chocolatey dark wood that when you finish it comes out with a deep, rich chocolate color. It's kind of like walnut, only it's it, a lot denser. I mean, a lot denser. It's like up to uh, ebony level density, as in it should sink in water. Um, it's slightly toxic. Uh, I won't say toxic. It's an irritant, uh, which people can develop allergies to really easily. Fortunately, I don't seem to have that as one of my allergies. Um, if you're going to work as a wood, uh, having carbide tools really helps a lot with that. Uh, plain steel tools get uh, dulled fairly quickly with them. Um, but I was thinking it might be fun to make some stuff with it, so I was looking for different sources for it. It tends to get sold as decking material a lot, mainly because um, it's so dense and uh, the composition is such that it's very termite resistant. I think it's rated for like 50 years in-ground termite resistance when it's not even treated, so you can have wood that's like doesn't have arsenic in it to... Uh, keep from being uh, eaten away. And uh, anyway, I was looking through and uh, I wanted to get a shipping thing. And to do that, you had to put in your a phone number to be able to get to the uh, total page with the shipping as well as tax. It's like, okay, it's the piece I was looking at would the price would have doubled uh, for shipping, you know, but it's coming from across the country. Not a big deal. Yeah, I understand that. So I went ahead and, you know, exited out of it, you know, removed it from my cart ship, uh, the, from the shipping cart so it wouldn't say that it was there and whatnot. So today, uh, while I'm getting out of the party for the judge that was retiring, um, I notice I get an email and I notice I get a call from this place. And I'm from the generation that doesn't mind phone calls as much. Admittedly, I don't do it as much anymore. But can I say I find it kind of aggressive and creepy that merely having used their shipping cart and then you know, cleared it out to you know get to see what the shipping is. That they not only email, they call you. Uh, I'm not sure I want to deal with a company that is that aggressive for sales, especially when I was looking at like a $15 piece of wood and like $13 in shipping. Um, so anyway, that's my grumpy rant, old, old man rant for the day. All right, so five, seven, and nine. Let's see, did I already do that on here? Uh, Yes, I did, and one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I did exchange it, but I didn't do the shed reversal. So it's three, four, and five are reversed. So one and two on the bottom, and three, four, and five on the top, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Yep, check something good on that. <coughs> I'm wondering if it's talking that makes my tongue get stuffy. Whatever it is, I, <coughs> excuse me, I find it highly annoying. All right, so one and two on the top, and three, four, five on the bottom, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven on the top. Check some is good. <coughs> but I think part of the coughing is because this uh, hoodie I'm wearing is so tight around my neck. All right, we are ready for the next move. 
And on 232, on the right, we're going to exchange 5 and 9, and sheds 4 and 5 are reversed. And on the left, we're going to exchange 7 and 9, and shed 5 is reversed. Catch up on chat here. Uh, I'm assuming that's in regards to my rant. And uh, yeah, I definitely uh, will agree with you there. I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure I want to deal with a company that's that aggressive on their marketing to uh, get somebody who's probably making, you know, a reasonable wage to spend time calling somebody on the phone to find out why they didn't make their purchase. So they did phrase it as they sometimes have shopping cart problems, but um, admittedly, they don't know that I have IT experience, but that's not something that bothers me, and I know how to pursue, pursue that if I have an issue with that. Huh. Okay, there we go. Just had something weird there. Did I bring up the next move? Um, all right, so I... Okay. Uh, yeah, I did read it off. Okay, sorry. Just trying to remember where I am. One, two, three, four, and... Five. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. go and sheds four and five over so one two three on the bottom and four and five on the top and six seven eight nine ten and eleven checksum is good okay that looks all right all right so one two, three on the top, and four and five on the bottom, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Checksum is good. There we go. And left side is seven and nine are exchanged so one two three four five six and Another thing I need to do is start preparing for taxes for next year. I know it's still not. Whoops. Let's see through that one around. At least that's easy to tell which one I moved there. All right. So, yep, there we go. Uh, and shed five is reversed. So one, two, three, four on the bottom. And. Five, six, oh, sorry, four on the bottom and five on the top and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Check is good. We seem to be having a bit of a concentration problem. Apologize for that. I think it's the headache that. Yeah, my headaches, migraines tend to be, they build up for a bit at the beginning, then they kind of fade off, and there's a period where they don't have it, and then it comes back again, builds up, and then fades off slowly. So it's kind of like a, uh, um, let's see, it's, it's going along, starts up, fades off, and has a mirror image back up again and fades out. So this might be the backside of the migraine I had Wednesday. 
So I apologize for that. In that I am apologizing because I can't stop griping about it. And I know that gets annoying and repetitive. So I try and keep that to a minimum. And still have to do the top one. So one, two, three, four on top, five on the bottom, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven on the top. Checksum is good. There we go. And we are ready for the next move. On to 33. On the right, we're going to exchange 7, 9, and 11. And sheds 5 and 6 are reversed. Let's say the right on that. Okay. And on the left side, we're going to exchange 9. And shed 6 is reversed. And let me catch up, see if anybody's chatting on Rumble. Looks like we got about th two or three people watching over there. So hello to the Rumble peeps. And then we're back over here to StreamYard. Oh, and before I forget, I need to see if anybody... Because I tend to forget a lot on this. I apologize. Uh, see if anybody is... I can redirect to at the end of the stream. Let's see. Add redirect. Search for videos. All right. So nobody's actually active. And looking at the, uh, the streams and whatnot listed, I'm guessing that they're all going to be in the morning or sometime tomorrow or later. So I don't think I'm going to have anybody I can redirect to. All right, uh, back to StreamYard here. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. I mean, that is the case, and it is annoying, and I'm sorry that I tend to... I know I gripe about it a lot, and I apologize for that, and thank you, everybody, for your patience when I do gripe about it, so... All righty, so 7, 9, and 11 on the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and... Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And sheds five and six are over. So one, two, three, four on the bottom. And five and six on the top, and seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven on the bottom. Check some is good. Just put that on twist. There we go. And that should probably be up over there so it doesn't get hit as much. And one, two, three, four on top, and five and six on the bottom. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven on the top. Check some is good. There we go. And exchanging nine on the left, so one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And I got the uh, lip or rim of the glass done here. And shed six is reverse. So one, two, three, four, five on the bottom, and six on the top, and seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Check some is good. And one, two, three, four, five on top, six on the bottom, and seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven on the top. Check some is good. There we go. There we go. And we are ready for the next move. On to 34. On the right, we're going to exchange 9 and 11, and sheds 3, 4, and 6 are reversed. On the left, we're going to exchange 11, and shed 6 is reversed. 
And thank you very much, Kathleen. That's very kind of you. All right, so 9 and 11 on the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 9, 10, and 11. Actually, um, if I go long enough, uh, Nick might go ahead and post uh, his stream. He said he was going to stream Thursday night, have Dick Masterson on as a guest, because they're going over uh, Maddox's uh, posting of videos, talking about his breakup and lawsuit uh, with Dick Masterson for their podcast. Uh, a lot of interesting commentary, including apparently he went ahead and registered a, a website uh, named Nick Ricada is not a blackface lawyer. Uh, and sheds three, four, and six are reversed. So one and two on the bottom. One, two, three, and four. Four on the top. And. Five on the bottom, six on the top, and seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven on the bottom. For those that don't know the story, Nick Ricada is a lawyer, very popular uh, in the LawTube community, which I'm sure most of you do know, but in case anybody doesn't, or they're catching up on Replay Crew and we're not aware of it. Uh, one, two on the top, one, two, three, and four on the bottom, and five on the top, six on the bottom, and seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So when he was like just kind of end of college, getting out of college, um, there was a Halloween party, and so he decided to uh, dress up his his breast his best friend, Drex, uh, who is black and was also a cheerleader with him on their college, uh, in their college. And uh, so he dressed up as his uh, friend, uh, you know, as a college uh, cheerleader. And uh, anyway, they had a picture of it. It got put up as a private picture on MySpace. Apparently, somewhere along the way, the settings got changed and it got out there. And uh, so Maddox apparently say when he uh, had Nick uh, ask him to be on a show or whatever, said it's some uh, blackface lawyer. And he said, I demand a retraction. I am not a blackface lawyer. I am a lawyer who uh, occasionally has been in blackface but does not practice law in blackface. And uh, it was obviously, uh, if you know Nick, that's a joke. He's having fun with that and was trying to get Maddox on the show. Uh, at least that's the explanation. And uh, so uh, anyway, Maddox finally created that site. Uh, obviously an attempt to shame Nick, but Nick being shameless thinks it's entirely funny and is doing his part to uh, spread the uh, existence of that site. So I figured I'd help on that as well. Because, hey, I was in the uh, uh, was late 90s, early 2000, when uh, it what, that apparently wasn't the big uh, career killer that it is now and was not really thought of as being that. And, hey, he was dressing up as his personal best friend. So, anyway, and it was a private party. But, yeah, he's got it out there. He's not going to be able to run for office for anything. So, um Anyway, that was, uh, I went down this uh, derailed train track here because uh, if I break long enough, Nick is probably going to have his stream up so they can discuss. Uh, and then if he does, since I am subscribed to him, I will be able to do a redirect there. I don't know if anybody is interested in that or not, but I like Nick and that's, he's kind of how I got started in YouTube. So, all right. So 11 is reversed on the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And I can tell I'm getting slap happy, so I'm sorry about that, which means I tend to ramble. 
and I may actually like fall asleep in mid braid. I hope I don't do that. All right, so one, two, three, four, five on the bottom, six on the top, and seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. That sound is good. And one, two, three, four. Oops, sorry. One, two, three, four, five on top, six on the bottom, and seven, eight, nine. 9, 10, 11. Anyway, uh, Nick Ricada kind of got his start in YouTube because um, he was uh, in the uh, Facebook group for the um, um, Master Cinematics uh, show. And uh, when Maddox had his lawsuit filed, it was so crazy that... Uh, Nick wanted to do a video about it for the group, and he uh, couldn't figure out how to post it to Facebook at that time, so he uploaded YouTube, and it kind of his YouTube career kind of took off in that. But apparently, Maddox had a really bad lawyer, uh, somebody who would uh, um, take a case on contingency and uh, do work on it, and do horrible work on it to the point where the uh, client would be facing potential sanctions and then they would quit the, he would quit the case um, and because uh, they hadn't actually gotten anywhere uh, where the person could potentially get a payment um, and they were in horrible condition where the lawsuit was where they would be getting sanctioned they would you know kind of lose the case and then still have to pay the lawyer and that seemed to be the guy's business model um, yeah, I'm not directly involved. This is just what I've heard. So, um, but yeah, apparently this is not a good lawyer. Uh, there's apparently ample evidence on the record in that regard. All right, we are on to move 35. Can exchange nine on the right and sheds three, four, and six are reversed. No, I'm sorry. reading the wrong line. I'm exchanging nine on the right, and shed seven is reversed. And on the left, we're doing no exchanges, and shed seven is reversed. Um, catching up real quick here. Um, yeah, um, Nick Ricada is, um, he was decent sized channel prior to the Kyle Rittenhouse um, case, but he went ahead and streamed the whole case live uh, as it was happening. And he actually got a panel of other uh, lawyers who were also on YouTube on there to comment on it as it was going on. It was kind of a new thing where it was different from court TV in that not only did you see the trial, but you actually had probably, you know, like, four or $5,000 an hour worth of legal experience on the stream, being able to comment on how good or bad it was. And he kind of picked off from there uh, and he's much more popular now. I think he was like about a little over a hundred thousand subs when that started, maybe about 200,000. And he's like about half a million now between YouTube and Rumble. Um, yep. I've done yeah. I'm much better since I started taking the pro vigil, but still at the end of the day, I'm tired. And I'm assuming that's talking about the lawyer's horrible business model of, uh, you know, putting his clients in jeopardy and then suing them for uh, additional money. Yeah, that's. Not... Um, yeah, occasionally when I'm in bed and I'm not quite ready to go to sleep. I'm looking at my phone and suddenly I wake up when it hits me in the face. Okay, I think I'm caught up with everything here. As far as that, uh, I read off the moves. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And shed seven is reversed. So one, two, three, four, five. Six on the bottom, seven on the top, 
And eight, nine, ten, and eleven on the bottom. Check some is good. Anyway, um, when he's not doing trial streams. Nick is funny and sometimes or often offensive. He just likes telling jokes and hearing people tell stories. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the bottom, and eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And if you don't like that type of stuff, by all means, don't watch him. Um, He's perfectly fine if you don't watch him, if you don't like what he does. But uh, he's definitely insightful on a lot of law stuff, and a lot of other lawyers that are aware of him think highly of him, even though he hasn't actually spent a lot of time practicing law. Um, but he has, you know, he has gone through law school. He's passed the bar. He's handled cases, admittedly, in small town Minnesota. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope. Uh, no exchange is just the reversal. So one, two, three, four, five, six on the bottom, seven on the top, and eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Of course, he was doing criminal defense in small town Minnesota, which means nobody has any money, so it's hard to make a living doing that. And one, two, three, four, five. Six on top, seven on bottom, and eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Check some is good. Yeah, most of your clients, uh, they've already spent all their money on the meth, and now they need help. So, and on to. Move 36, we're going to exchange 13 on the right, and sheds 4 and 7 are reversed. On the left, we're going to exchange 13, and shed 7 is reversed. Woohoo! I've accomplished my goal! Oops. Okay. For some reason, it looked like it was cut off at the uh, divider between there, but I realize it's just, it does actually extend beyond it. Just first glance, it looked weird. No, I, if you do want to catch him, you can catch him live. He's usually on midnight Eastern time, um, Monday through Friday most times, though he does tend to have a lot of family stuff. He's got five kids ranging, I think, from about like five or six all the way up to about 14 or 15. Um, and uh, they do take up a lot of time. He and his wife homeschool as part of a local homeschooling collective. Um, and he's got narcolepsy. And he's, you know, up at night anyway, and he goes to sleep at like five in the morning and then has to get up at seven to do stuff. So, but uh, like I said, I like his show. You can always catch him on the replay. That's usually what I do because uh, I definitely can't stay up overnight for that. Uh, okay. Um, he's like in really rural, uh, like the town is like, you know, a few thousand people size uh, community. So. Uh, and he said where he lives before on stream, which is uh, Spicer, Minnesota. So I don't feel bad saying that. All right, so 13 on the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And sheds 4 and 7 reverse. So 1, 2, 1, 2, Three on the bottom, four on the top, and five and six on the bottom, seven on the top, and eight, nine, ten, and eleven on the bottom. That sum is good. And one, two, three on the top four on the bottom, and five and six on the top, seven on the bottom, and eight, nine, ten, and eleven on the top. Check some is good. Oh, um, let's see. 
13 on the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And she had 7 is reversed. Um, there is an anthology collection edited by Larry Correa. Or actually, it's a series of anthologies that focus on uh, noir-type detective stories. Uh, the first anthology was Noir Fatale, focusing on the femme fatale uh, trope in noir detective fiction. And um, the second one is No Game for Old Knights, which focuses on the, uh, you know, the old knight uh, character in detective. And the third one, which I think just came out, is called, uh, or about to come out, is called Down These Mean Streets, where it focuses on the city. Uh, aspect of the noir stories. Um, but the reason I'm bringing it up is No Game for Old Nights has just recently had its Audible version released. So if that's something you're interested in, you can probably find that on Audible. Uh, series is edited by Larry Correa. And he tends to get some pretty big name people that uh, uh, join the anthology. He tends to get like Jim Butcher and he's gotten Laurel K. Hamilton to... Uh, um, Put you know, submit stories for his uh, anthologies. All right, so seven is reversed. So one, two, three, four, five, six on the bottom, seven on the top, and eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Check some is good. I'm still waiting for uh, his latest uh, Son of the Black Sword book to actually come out in Audible. One, two, three, four. Five, six on top, seven on the bottom, and eight, nine, ten, and eleven on top. Check some is good. I've already, I did buy the Kindle book because I like supporting him, but I do prefer listening to Audible um, audiobooks because it's easier for me the way my brain works at the moment. Because I still have the problem of when I start reading a physical book. I tend to start and not stop until I'm actually done. And that can be rather inconvenient, you know, when you have things like a job and commitments and stuff like that. So I try not to do it unless I absolutely have the time available. All right, so we're going to exchange 9 and 13 on the right. Sheds 7 is reversed. And on the left, we're going to do no exchanges. And sheds 1, 7, and 8 are reversed. There we go. And catch you on chat real quick here. Okay, um, I'm not sure where Bradley is, but then again, I'm not sure where Spicer is. I just remember the name. All right, let me check real quick, see if anybody's chatting on Rumble. We've got about two people watching over there. Nobody's chatting, so jump back over here. And let's get the moves done here. So 9 and 13 on the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And... Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. And I see I have one on the bottom that jumped a pin. Let me fix that real quick. All right. So, yep. If you can see here, I've got a kind of a double up on the yellow. So let me go ahead and pull. Make sure those are separate. And there we. Oops. Got it separated. Now I didn't put it in the right spot. There we go. There we go. All right, so shed seven is reversed. So one, two, three, four, five, six on the bottom, seven on the top, and eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Check sum is good. And one, two, three, four, four, five. Six on top, seven on the bottom, and eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Check sum is good. And I hear Mrs. Torn coming up to uh, either wish me a good night or she's going to let Serbia up. I'm not sure which is the case because I heard the door open, but I don't know if I'm hearing anybody come up. All right. 
right, so no exchanges on the left and sheds one, seven, and eight in reverse. So one on the top and two, three, four, five, six on the bottom, seven and eight on the top, and nine, 10, and 11 on the bottom. So it looks like it's Mrs. Torrin coming up to say goodbye as she heads out to work and not Mr. Circles. Love you, dear. Love you too. See you have, tomorrow. Yep, you have a good one. And one on the bottom, and two, three, four, five, six on the top, seven and eight on the bottom, and nine, ten, and eleven on the top. X sum is good. Go. Yep, Gwen, she is definitely a lovely wife, and I appreciate every minute of my time with her. And we are ready for move 38. And on the right, we are going to exchange 1, 3, and 17. And sheds 5, 7, and 8 are reversed. On the left, we're going to exchange 3 and 17. And sheds 2 and 8 are reversed. There we go. There we go. Let me catch up on chat real quick here. Okay, um, I've I did keep up with uh, Schlock as a web comic, but I didn't get any of the collections. Um, okay, yep. Um, uh, I forget his name, but the um, the artist writer for Schlock Mercenary uh, lives in Utah, and so does Larry Korea. So I know they've met each other, though. Um, they definitely have a lot of disagreements on things, but yeah, Schlock Mercenary was one of my favorite web comics, and I, I think I started uh, reading it probably less than a year into that because I started doing web comics in like '98 or '99, and uh, that's really nice to hear. Yep, um, Jim's a great guy. Uh, Love his work. Um, I'm a couple of books behind on the uh, Dresden file stuff, but uh, I should catch up fairly soon on that. And it's a one and three on the right. One and two. Jim Butcher has a, a good maxim for writing uh, never preach harder than you can entertain. Uh, which I think is a lot of the issue with, you know. Uh, people complaining about uh, uh, stories. That, Why are you complaining about it having these messages? They've always had these messages. And it's not that they haven't had the messages or the messages are necessarily a problem. It's that the for some reason, the, uh, um, the people who've been having the issues with it are seem to think that if they have the message, the writing is good. And no, they need to have good writing in addition to the message or people aren't going to want to read it. Because regardless of whether or not you agree or disagree with the message, if it's not entertaining, people don't like reading or watching it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Because yeah, I I know personally myself, I have no issue being exposed to different ideas, concepts, things I agree or disagree with. Uh, five, seven, and eight are reverse. So one, two, three, four on the bottom, five on the top, uh, six on the bottom, and seven and eight on the top, and. 9, 10, and 11. Check something is good. Actually, I like being exposed to ideas that I haven't run across. Oops. I must have miscounted somewhere. Let me catch. Separate these two out because there's two on here. All right. So. All right. I think this is the case. All right. So let me try that again. Uh, one, two, three, four on the bottom, five on the top, six 
six on the bottom. And ooh, that one's six on the bottom and seven and eight on the top. Yep. Okay, there we go. And nine, ten, and eleven on the bottom. Yep, that was good. Okay. Um Yeah, I expect the stuff I read or watched at least be entertaining. Uh, whoops. Because if it's not entertaining, it's kind of like a textbook. And while I am happy to read those, I read them for information gathering, not for enjoyment. And a different mindset, different philosophy on how to process it. So uh, one, two, three, four on top. And... Five on the bottom and six on the top and seven and eight on the bottom and nine, ten, and eleven on top. Check some is good. Yeah. See, I am at least at the leader on one of these. And left side, we're going to exchange 3 and 17. So 1, 2, and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. And sheds two and eight are reverse. So one on the bottom, two on the top, and three, four, five, six, seven on the bottom, eight on the top, and nine, ten, and eleven on the bottom. Check sum is good. Sorry if I'm expounding too much philosophy because I have a strong internalized version that my entertainment is not that good, so I try not to do a lot of preaching with my entertainment. Uh, okay, so top is one on top, two on the bottom, and three, four, five, six, seven on top, eight on the bottom, and nine, ten, and eleven on the top. Check sum is good. I also tend not to be big preachy anyway. I'm perfectly fine with people to have their own views and be friends of mine. Occasionally, I actually enjoy having a discussion with my friends where we have opposite viewpoints. And when we're done, we're happy together and still friends. Which is one of the reasons why I didn't like a lot of uh, um, the people who have the argument based off the I'm right and you're evil, because there's no interchange of ideas there. It's just conflict. All right, so 39. On the right, we're going to exchange 9, 11, and 13, and sheds 1, 4, 5, 6, and 8. And on the left, we're going to exchange 15, and sheds 1 and 3 are reversed. There we go. All right, let me check here real quick. Uh, Oh, yeah, Howard Taylor. That's right. Uh, yep. Um, and for those that didn't know, I am also that. Um, uh, I am horrible. I don't go to church regularly. But yes, that's what I was raised up. And that's what I believe. So my deep, dark secret there. And thank you, Gwen. I'm glad I've got a good pace going because personally, my head is like really all jumbled up from... Uh, the headache and all the stuff that's been going on this weekend. Uh, so the fact that I'm doing pretty good is letting me know that I'm doing decently and I haven't been screwing up the whole thing, though the way the pattern is going lets me know I haven't done too badly on that. And uh, Okay, yeah. Um, I like a lot of uh, Ringo's books. I really enjoy his Black Tide Rising series. He's not really writing much in it anymore, but he's got a bunch of people that are uh, 
writing in his universe, uh, which is nice. Um, also, uh, uh, John Ringo wrote, uh, co-wrote, um, well, mostly wrote, and then Larry did the edits to make sure that it didn't actually conflict with the canon for the Monster Hunter universe. Uh, that was fun reading as well. Uh, yep. All right. Let me get my brain running here. All righty. 9, 11, 13 on the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, and thirteen. There we go. Now one of these is gonna need an unroll. Nope, actually we're good. Okay. All right, sheds one, four, five, six, and eight are reverse. So one on the top and two and three on the bottom. And four, five, six on the top, seven on the bottom, and eight on the top, and nine, ten, and eleven on the bottom. Check something is good. There we go. And one on the bottom, and two and three on the top, and four, five, and six on the bottom, seven on the top, eight on the bottom, and nine, ten, and eleven on the top. Next sum is good. And left side is just fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And sheds one and three are reversed. So one on the top, two on the bottom, three on the top, and Three, four, five, or sorry, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Nope, I've got my count wrong there. So, uh, one on the bottom, no, one on the top, two on the bottom, three on the top, four on the bottom, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Check something good. And one on the bottom, two on the top, three on the bottom, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven on the top. Check something is good. go all right so i've been running about an hour and a half now let me see if uh got anything that's live or going to be soon that i can uh, do customization or redirect on let's see search for other channels nope nothing yet coming up all right got two people watching on rumble still Do I want to try and do another five moves or not? All right. Well, I think I can try another five moves. Um, let me catch up. Read. And on the right, we're going to exchange. Oh, sorry. Got to 40. All right. So we're going to exchange um, 
one, three, seven, and 15 on the right. Sheds five, six, and eight are reversed. On the left, we're doing no exchanges, and sheds eight and nine are reversed. Catch up on chat real quick here. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, if, uh, if you're not interested in kind of creepy themes, stay away from the ghost series. There we go. And one, three, seven, and 15 on the right. So one, two. Three, four, five, six, and seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and 15. And sheds 5, 6, and 8 are reversed. So 1, 2, 3, 4 on the bottom, 5 on the, five on the top, 6 on the top, and 7 on the bottom, and 8 on the top. 9, 10, and 11 on the bottom. Check some is good. Oh, and I have been remiss. Uh, I want to say uh, hello to uh, Mysterica, uh, who has been on the replay crew and has actually been going through and watching like almost every single live stream and video I put out because she... Uh, leaves comments on each of them, and uh, I think that uh, that's very nice of her. I appreciate that she does that, and I hope that I'm providing enough interesting stuff that she enjoys watching it as well. So uh, when you catch up with this on the Replay Crew, Mysterica, hello, and thank you for watching. All right, so still have the top to do on here, and... Five, six, and eight. So one, two, three, four on top. And five, six on the bottom, seven on the top, eight on the bottom, and nine, ten, and eleven on top. Check some looks good. We should start getting to the bottom of the glass pretty soon. All right, no exchanges on the left, and sheds eight and nine are reversed. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven on the bottom, and eight and nine on the top, and 10 and 11 on the bottom. Check some is good. Go. And one, two, three, four, five, and six on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on top, eight and nine on the bottom, and ten, ten and eleven on the top. Check some is good. There we go. And we are ready for the next move. On to 41. On the right, we're going to exchange 1, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 19. Sheds 2, 8, and 9 are reversed. Left side, we're going to exchange 1, 5, and 7, and 19. Sheds 1, 4, 5, 8, and 9 are reversed. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. Definitely would agree with you there. Uh yeah, if that's winning a romance thing, either they're not reading it or they have interesting ideas of romance. All right, 
So one, five, seven, nine, eleven, and nineteen. And one, two, three, four. And five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. There we go. And sheds two, eight, and nine are reverse. So one on the bottom, two on the top, and three, four, five, six, and seven on the bottom, eight and nine on top, and ten and eleven on the bottom. Check some is good. These should probably get unrolled before I do the other half. So I'm getting about to the point where I'll be able to tell if I did a good enough job tying the Tama on the leaders as to whether or not they start just dropping on the floor again because we're getting close to that point. All right, so two, eight, and nine are reverse. So one on the top, two on the bottom, and three, four, five, six, seven on the top, eight and nine on the bottom, and 10 and 11 on the top. Check sum is good. There we go. And left side, one, five, seven, and 19. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Seven. Eight, nine, yeah, 19, all the way at the end here. Sorry, I'm starting to fade fast. All right, so one, four, five, eight, and nine in reverse. So one on the top, and two, and three on the bottom, and four and five on the top, and six and seven on the bottom, and eight and nine on the top, and... 10 and 11 on the bottom. Check sum is good. And one on the bottom, and two and three on the top, and four and five on the bottom, and six and seven on the top, and eight and nine on the bottom, and 10 and 11 on the top. Check sum is good. And we are ready for 42. On the right, we're going to exchange 1, 7, 9, 15, and 19. And sheds 1, 2, 4, 8, and 9 are reversed. And on the left, we're going to exchange 1, 3, 5, 7, and 17. Sheds 1, 2, 5, 6, 8, and 9 are reversed. Go. And... One, oops, so I get my pull part of it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
and seven, eight, and nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Yeah, I've been promising I was going to post uh, some links to some little big videos, and I'm trying to think of the best way to put like a disclaimer on that. Uh, a lot of their newer stuff is cute, quirky, enjoyable. Uh, some level of disturbing in there occasionally, uh, but not too bad. But some of their older stuff is like really dark and twisted. And I'm trying to think of a way that I can like say, you'll enjoy most of these, but don't watch X, Y, and Z unless you're ready for something very twisted. Uh, so one, two, four, eight, and nine are reversed. So uh, one and two on the top, three on the bottom, and four on the top, and five, six, seven on the bottom, and eight and nine on the top, and ten and eleven on the bottom. Check something. Good. And one and two on the bottom, and Three on the top and four on four on the bottom and five, six and seven on top, and eight and nine on the bottom, and ten and eleven on the top. Check some is good, though that needs a bit of an unroll. There we go. Yeah, um, I'm not gonna get into uh, much details, but um, uh, they, one of the early songs is Unicorn, and it's about uh, somebody dressed up as an evil clown. It looks like some horrible like mass murdering thing, and it turns out that um, the clown in question is a father, and He's getting revenge for his injured daughter on the person who injured her. And it's kind of disturbing to watch. Uh, I don't really watch that. I, you know, I've seen it once or twice. Uh, music's not horrible. The visuals are uh, much more dark than the uh, lyrics are. Um, and it's, it's, you know, essentially well done, you know, Artistically, it's well done, but it's not something that you really want to like spring on people if they're not expecting it. Um, and as the you know, as time went on, the uh, groups ch really changed a lot in what they do. Um, if you uh, look for them before um, I get a chance to post the links that I think would be a good introduction to them. Uh, Skibbity or Skibbity Romantic Edition are perfectly fine. They're not going to really disturb anybody. They're cute, they're quirky, and pretty much all age is acceptable. So, uh, yeah, Gwen, do not watch that. Um, I can, I have been able, you know, depending on my mood, I'm able to watch and sometimes even like enjoy weird stuff like that. But I realize that that's not what most people want to watch. And most of the time, it's not what I want to watch. So, um, but yeah, uh, so I'm definitely planning on going like, here's, a, here's several that you would like. I think most of my audience would like, um, or at least, you know, not find horribly offensive. And then there's a couple that I'm just going to list by name and say, if you see this uh, pop up as an option, if you're like watching a playlist, skip over it uh, unless you're expect unless you're willing to watch something that's fairly disturbing. And they have a couple others that, you know, are not like twisted and dark, but they're like uh, 
really suggestive. Um, uh, I mean, there's no actual, you know, quote unquote nudity or anything like that, but they've got some that it's like, you know, uh, and then, like I said, after like the first few years, they kind of settled down to more of a group where they seem to have a lot of popularity with that. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll have a list of ones by name saying, you probably don't want to watch these unless you're prepared for something entirely different than the rest of it. All right, so one, three, five, and seven are exchanged. I mean, they've they've got another one uh, that came out like in the last four years, uh, three or four years. One, two. It's called Hypno Dancer. It's absolutely hysterical, and uh, I mean. It's, Maybe not G-rated, but easily very, very mild PG at the worst. Uh, three, four. And if I'm in the mood to watch a little big, I usually watch that at least once or twice. Uh, I enjoy it quite a bit. And I think most of my uh, people who watch me would also enjoy it without reservation. So five, six. And seven. But yeah, I got to go through their uh, discog discography, videography, or whatever, and make sure and put out the uh, the trigger warnings because uh, I don't want to. I don't want to like shock my audience. Uh, with something they're not expecting because the type of stuff I do is not likely to attract people that like that stuff in general. Not that they wouldn't like the stuff I do, but it's not what they would expect from me. So I don't want to like, you know, throw a curveball, throw a curveball at somebody and like beam them outside the head and they wake up like a couple hours later. It's like, why the hell did you do that? Um, so 17, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. And one, two, five, six, eight, and nine reverse. So one and two on the top. And Three and four on the bottom, five and six on the top, and seven on the bottom, and eight and nine on top, and ten and eleven on the bottom. Check some is good. There's a couple that I probably need to put a little bit of a uh, um. Warning in that generally they're okay, but there's a couple of scenes in there that might be a little disturbing. Uh, there's one called Tacos, where it's mostly just, you know, hey, let's have fun uh, singing about food with people wearing uh, food or uh, food as clothes, uh, talk about different uh, cuisines and things like that. And then there's the occasional like puppet thing where they're like, you know, peeling a fruit. The only problem is the fruit screams at you, which I had forgotten about when I was showing uh, my roommate. And it's like, oh, whoops, I'm sorry. We can stop this right now. Um, and it was more that was just unexpected, but yeah. Uh, all right, so top left. So one, two, five, six, eight, and nine. So one and two on the bottom and three and four on the top and five and six on the bottom and and seven on the top and eight and nine on the bottom and ten and eleven on the top check something is good There we go. I have not been keeping up with chat. Let me get ready for the next move. 
and then I'll catch up on chat. All right, on to 43. On the right, we're going to exchange 1, 5, 9, 11, 13, and 17. Sheds 1, 2, 3, 8, and 9 are reversed. On the left, we're going to exchange 1, 5, 15, and 17. Sheds 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, and 9 are reversed. There we go. Um, I am not entirely sure. I think I was about uh, 10 inches per iteration. So I'm probably about 35 to 40 inches in uh, at the moment. Um, I'll, uh, I can uh, go ahead before the next stream, uh, get a measurement and I'll post it in the description. So if you catch up, you can uh, read that. Um, just so you're aware, I'm going to try and get this braid done by Saturday or Sunday evening, my time zone. Um, so I got three days that I can stream it. And considering I have after this brandy snifter, I have a uh, cigar, Godzilla, and Cthulhu is all that's left, plus my maker's mark. I should be doing pretty good. Um, all right. Um, Welcome home, Marmar. We've been discussing stuff that you probably may not want to catch on replay. Um, nothing uh, descriptive, but I've been talking about a, a group I like that 90% of their songs are absolutely wonderful, enjoyable, uh, fun, lighthearted. And they have a couple of early stuff that's like, you really don't want to watch it. So um, I think if I remember right, I was shooting for somewhere between like three and a half and four and a half feet. It looks like I'm going to have a bit more than I was expecting, so I might wind up doing my Maker's Mark twice. I'll touch base with the person the spray is going for once I've got a better idea of how long I'm getting. Um, I don't want to like waste any silk if I don't have to, but eh, if they don't want it much longer, I'm fine with that. But I don't have enough uh, length for a fifth iteration, I don't think. I think I only have enough for four and then some. So hope that was helpful or descriptive, or informative, or whatever. Just a second, let me grab a drink here. And I think I've come to the conclusion that it's not so much my allergies that plug up my sinuses when I'm braiding, it's the fact I'm talking a lot. So 1, 5, 9, 11, 13, and 17. All right, there's one. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Check one, two, three, eight, and nine are reversed. One, two, three on top, and four, five, six, seven on the bottom, eight and nine on the top, ten and eleven on the bottom. Check some is good. Go. And one, two, three on the bottom, and four, five. Six, seven, eight. Se uh, seven on top, and eight and nine on the bottom, and ten and eleven on the top. Check sum is good. And we are about ready for a coma slide once I finish up the other half of this move set. 
right, on the left, it's 1, 5, 15, and 17. One, two, three, four. Uh, Diane, part of the reason I'm running so late tonight, getting started and running later, is because I was going to the retirement party for the judge I worked for as a constable for the last eight years. He decided to retire. Some new judge got elected. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen and seventeen. Though I would, part of the reason I was planning to be later is because I expected to uh, go the full time for the party, but it was a lot louder than I expected. Um, I have worked, I work in high noise environments, but I'm also religious about wearing hearing protection and um, the hearing protection I've got currently that I wear at work is, uh, looks like it's headphones essentially. So I can listen to stuff as well, but it's also rated for hearing protection. And that would, I thought that would be rude to wear there. Plus, uh, it was kind of like in a uh, tent outdoor thing attached to a re restaurant bar thing. Uh, and it was with, between all the propane heaters, the noise, and the occasional bit of cigarette smoke that I could smell, I was like just not feeling well. I got a, my headache kind of flared up. And, um, I was feeling nauseous, so I came home early, took a nap, uh, figured I'd keep the same uh, time for the uh, stream as I did before. So I'm doing good, but I am kind of uh, fading out, and uh, the headache from the migraine yesterday is kind of on the rebound side, so I'll be doing like one more move after this one, and then calling it a night. So sheds one through four, seven, eight, and nine are reversed, so one, one, two, three, four on top, and five and six on the bottom, and seven, eight, and nine on the top, and ten and eleven on the bottom. Check some, it's good. And one, two, three, four on the bottom, five and six on the top, and seven, eight, and nine on the bottom. 10 and 11 on the top. Check something that's good. Well, apparently, I haven't actually made a mistake tonight, though I've had a couple false starts, but nothing where I actually committed and then had to go back in reverse. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. And we are ready for the next move. On to 44. On the right, we're going to exchange 1, 3, 7, 9, 13, 15. Sheds one, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine are reversed. On the left, we're going to exchange one, five, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, and twenty-one. And sheds one and four through nine are reversed. Let me catch up on chat real quick here. Uh, well, that's definitely a good reason to stay indoors. I'll have to keep that in mind. It did snow where I was at this morning. Yeah, forty mile an hour wind gusts. I'm not probably probably not going to be spending a lot of time in the garage. But I should uh, do want to try and spend some time there this weekend to get work done. All right, so one, three, seven, nine, thirteen, and fifteen. Oops. Before I do that, it is coma slide time. And one, three, seven, nine, thirteen, fifteen. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and 
13 and 15. Um, I'm not too jealous, uh, Diane. Um, I do know where you are. It does tend to get cold at times, too. So I am happy that you were able to enjoy good weather when you can. Uh, I also watch a uh, streamer who is out of um, Australia who goes by the username Aussie Overlord. As in O V E R L A W apostrophe D. He's a lawyer. And I think you can tell from his uh, username that he thinks there's probably too much uh, laws out there. Um, but uh, yeah, he's in Australia. So he's in like uh, getting close to high summer. All right. So sheds one, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine are reverse. So one on the top, two on the bottom, and three four, five, six on top, seven on the bottom, and eight and nine on the top, and 10 and 11 on the bottom. Check some is good. And one on the bottom, two on the top, and three, four, five, and six on the bottom. Seven on the top, and eight and nine on the bottom, and ten and eleven on the top. Check sum is good. Oops, I just realized I grabbed the wrong one there. That's the one that should be grabbed. Except I just also realized that I probably switched direction, top and bottom there. Let me try this again. All right, so. No, I did do the bottom. That was the top. That's supposed to be on top. Okay. Uh, let's try that again. All right, so one on the bottom and two on the top and three, four, five, and six on the bottom and seven on the top and eight and nine on the bottom and 10 and 11 on the top. There we go. So I did have it right. I just put it on the wrong rail. There we go. That's where it's supposed to be. And left side, one, five, nine, 11, 13, 15, 17, and 21. One, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. There we go. And sheds one and four through nine are reverse. So one on the top, and two and three on the bottom, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine on the top, and ten and eleven on the bottom. Check some is good. And one on the bottom, and two and three on the top, and 
four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine on the bottom, and ten and eleven on the top. Check some is good. And there we go. And the next move, which will be when we start tomorrow, whenever I am able to fit in a stream, is going to be exchanging 1, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 21, and sheds 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 being reversed. And on the left, we're going to exchange 1, 5, 7, 13, 15, 19, and 21, and sheds 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 are reversed. And as you can see, we are getting close to the bottom of the bowl on this glass here. It shouldn't be too much longer until that one's done, and we're ready to go on to the cigar element. Catching up real quick here on chat. Um, One point four six. I was looking at it in the smaller um, uh, chat window here, and it looked like one hundred forty six inches. And it's like, what are we having a flood? Uh, is this somebody building a big ark? Um, okay. Well, I hope that uh, you enjoy the sunny day and don't have to deal too much with the rainy stuff. Yeah, if it's not too cold, it. If the wind's rough, I might have an issue keeping the garage warm if I'm working out there. But I want to get some stuff done with the uh, CNC router out there. So I'm going to try and do a little bit of that. All right. Let me see if there's anybody I can uh, do a redirect for. Let me see who's anybody live. Yeah. Let me back out entirely just in case. Um, let's see. Let's just go to studio and content i'm back up to 1282 subscribers after being slightly below uh, i got dropped to uh, 1279 uh, recently back up to that highest i've gotten so far is 1286 haven't uh, gotten back up to that yet and let's see let's go to customization and redirect let's see Okay, yes. Uh, wait a minute. Let me see. Paint along. Uh, looks like everything's still upcoming and nothing is live. All right, so I won't do a redirect. Sorry about that. Do a quick check over on Rumble. Uh, still got about, we've got about three people watching there. No chat yet, but uh, it's good to see you, Rumble peeps, there. Hope you're having a, a good one there. Thank you for watching. I appreciate that. I've actually earned about a dollar fifteen on Rumble so far. You know, I got about twenty three subscribers over there. Um, I know I don't have a lot of people over there, and they don't pay as well as YouTube, but uh, I do like the fact they are kind of a free speech uh, platform because I've seen too many people get banned off of YouTube for like essentially nothing. Uh, so I want to like have an alternate available in case something happens down the road. I just want to be able to. Talk to the people that like watching me. All righty. And yeah, that would be a lot of rain. Uh, most I've ever had is when I was living in California, in the Bay Area. I was in Larkspur, which is like right next to San Rafael. It's just over the hillside from it and lived like about only a mile, mile and a half from San Quentin Prison um, by the Larkspur Ferry area. There's a little. Uh, apartment complex there that my folks were living in that I uh, spent some time there while I was just out of uh, just past high school paying off some debt before I moved back to Idaho and uh, they had some really heavy rain where I think some area received like 17 inches in 24 hours and some areas didn't really get too badly flooded because it's so close to the bay and it takes an awful lot of rain to raise that bay up uh, any significant distance if you're right next to it as long as you're not like in a, a riverbed a river area where it's like can build up there before it gets to the um, gets to the bay but we had areas like four or five miles from us that were, when that happened were out of power for like three weeks and we only had where we were the power flicker for like about 15 minutes because we're on the same subgrid as san quentin prison and they're not going to let that place uh 
lose power for any significant amount of time. So that was a nice side effect there. So I wanted to thank everybody who came by and watched the stream. It's much appreciated. Like I said, I'm going to probably have a stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to get the spray finished off this weekend. Oh, sorry about the yawning. I apologize for that. Uh, okay, yep. Um, I lived there from like 93 to 96. <coughs> and about a year or two after I moved back to Idaho from that, my folks moved back to Idaho as well. So that was nice. Hey, Laura, nice to see you on. Um, not sure if I've seen your name before or not, but if I haven't, welcome to the Catching a Live Stream Live. And uh, thank you very much. So I think that's everything. Got no to redirect. Going to do. We're going to start next uh, stream at move 45. And uh, everybody have a good night. And as always, stay safe and happy braiding.